everybody. Ryan from Intel here once again with my friend Tom Peterson. Hey uh, and we're here to answer some more questions from the community, fill in some gaps in information that maybe we haven't talked about yet or that we, we left open unexpectedly. Or said stuff that was a mistake. No, uh, no, 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 we would never do such never. a thing. So let's get into, the, get into the first question here. So we've had a discussions about resizable bar. Yes. Right. So I think there's two parts to this. One, maybe describe what, what resizable is bar what is. is. Yeah. And then the second question that I think most people want to know is we've been very open about Turn it in, on. Intel Arc architecture is more Turn sensitive <laughs> to resizable bar. Turn it on. And it yes. needs to be on, yes. essentially, for yes. a reasonable experience yes. with, with the product. Yes. So let's, wh first, what is resizable okay. bar? Okay, resizable bar is a pretty weirdly named PCI Express feature. And what it does is it allows transactions that originate on the CPU, like reads and writes, that are targeting GPU memory, uh, to be bigger. So basically, if resizable bar is off, and you're trying to read or write a large memory region, you're going to do a lot of little transactions. Uh, normally, that would you know that's no big deal. You know, maybe some people like a lot of little transactions. Our memory controller on our on our GPU happens to like uh, fewer, bigger transactions, and it has to do with the way the memory controller is designed and optimized for different memory technologies. But suffice it to say, if you bang on our memory controller with a lot of little transaction, it gets a little you know it's got. Uh, it's not, it's, it's, you know what I mean. So turn rebar on. So let's think a little about, about when that would happen. Okay. So in games, you don't normally read GPU memory. You normally write GPU memory. Mm -hmm. and, and that happens when you're like loading a texture, you know, it's copied from the CPU's memory to the GPU's memory. And then, and the GPU executes out of local memory all right. the time. The GPU often does not like read the CPU memory. The GPU is often working on the local GPU memory. Similar, like a shader is getting moved over to the GPU or geometry tree is being moved over to the GPU, and it's almost always a write of a big chunk of data over to the GPU. And that happens on things like scene changes or when you load a new level or there's a new effect happening. So that's why when you look at these uh, bar charts, and when you look at these t frame time charts, you'll see rebar off will generally re result in spikes that were already there getting bigger. Ah, uh, right. Okay. So it's not like the average uh, is affected as much, but some of these spikes get big. And it's because it's the, those momentary transactions where you're moving data across the CPI, uh, the PCI Express uh, interface. So adversely affecting game experience as yeah. opposed to maybe average yeah, frame rate. You're going to see an average okay. impact. And you see this, by the way, not just on Intel's uh, GPUs. You see it on NVIDIA and AMD as well. It's just that we're more affected by it because our memory controller is more sensitive to small transactions. But all of these scene transitions occur on all GPUs, and it's really just a question of optimization. Got it. So a couple of other things I would say in terms of resizable bar and compatibility. Yeah. Right. There, we have had questions about does uh, Intel Arc support AMD CPU platforms, yes. as an example, right? And, and the answer is absolutely it does. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely yeah, it does. Right. Course. When we when the A380 first launched, uh, you know, starting with with the China market, you know, we were trying to be a little more careful about what platforms it got paired yeah. with, yeah. Uh, and maybe some miswording in the Q&A about it, right? Uh, again, going back to fixing some yeah, confusion yeah, that occurred. Yeah, yeah. In, anything that supports resizable bar, or I, I forget, AMD calls it like smart memory access yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. Anything that supports resizable bar, uh, Arc is gonna work great on. And of course, we're trying to make sure those experiences are fantastic. We've got a huge compatibility lab. We've got you know, you know hundreds and hundreds of engineers all around the world testing everything. Uh, so I feel pretty comfortable and saying that our compatibility at the system level is going to be very high. What I really want to make sure our gamers understand is if you buy an Arc, turn on rebar. Turn on rebar. That seems like good advice. Turn on rebar. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, everybody. You're welcome. See you next time. See you guys.